there will be approximately 90,000 unaccompanied children who cross the border in fiscal 14 and 145,000 in fiscal 15. Well, that's the highest number we've heard yet. 90,000 unaccompanied children will arrive here by September with plenty more to follow. And it's widely believed that huge numbers of them are fleeing crime and poverty. But is there an untold story behind their journey? And who's paying for them to get here? Joining me now is Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson. And, and it's a really a shocking untold story, Clayton, and something we really haven't heard before. Let's look first about where these 90,000 are coming from, 145,000 the following year. Right now, Honduras, about 15,000. Guatemala, about 12,000. El Salvador, about 11,000. And Mexico, about 12,000. And the people in Mexico, those children go back pretty quickly because of the 2008 law. Right now, there are 375,000 immigrations pending in America. But listen to this, Clayton. 46%, 46%, almost half of the children, these unaccompanied minors who are being detained at the border and being put in federal facilities now, do not show up. They will not show up. So of the 90,000 that have come in the last fiscal year, Half of those will disappear into America to be going into public schools, to be part of our system, uh, and maybe receiving aid. Okay, a couple of questions here. Why, yeah. why aren't they showing up for the hearings? And, and, and second part of that question is, is there such a backlog of these cases? We know that there's like 274 judges handling 375,000 cases. It's How do you deal with it? One of the reasons, and this is the important reason, and this is the shocking reason that they're not showing up, 60% of Central Americans in the U.S. are undocumented or live with something called TPS, Temporary Protective Status, which denies them the right to petition for family reunification, to say to the government, I want to bring my children here. As a result, it has been reported that illegal families in the U.S. are paying between five to $7,000 to drug cartel traffickers to bring their children here. And we have learned, um, based on testimony in Congress, that we don't know where these children are going and to whom they are being given. Are they being given over to undocumented immigrants, to illegal aliens? So are they being reunified in the United States based on money paid by illegal Central Americans in the United States to drug cartel traffickers? That's the principal reason so, that we're not seeing them. Like ransom money. It, 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 it's, it's, it's an incredible um, underground economy that's fueling this illegal immigration to America. The conventional theory is, well, it's drug violence. It's, uh, it's poverty in these Central American companies, uh, con uh, countries. And people are fleeing. People are fleeing to be reunited with their illegal mothers and fathers in the United States. And look at the shocking numbers in terms of apprehensions and actual deportations. Children apprehended in fiscal year 2013, almost 50,000. Deportations ordered, only 3,500. Children actually returned home, about 1,600. So you're talking about 2, 3, 4% of the people who've been ordered to return home actually returning home. Hmm. Uh, it's a shocking set of statistics, and we need to look in a law enforcement way how we stop this tide of illegal payments to drug cartel traffickers bringing children to the Mexican-American border and then dumping these children in this child invasion, which next year will account for 145000 We know based on the president's new budgetary numbers that it costs almost $4 billion dollars to fund the 50,000 that have come already. Consider the numbers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Peter. Uh, and law enforcement there with their hands tied as these laws are telling you. Keep them here. Right. Keep them here. Don't send them back. Peter and Johnson. state courts get involved, too. And we'll talk about that. State courts and federal courts. Incredible. Thanks, Peter Johnson. Good to see you. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you.